Hello everybody, Xanafar here, and today I am doing a review for episode 11 of Ultraman Z. Let's talk about the Kevitas. Let's talk about Haruki. I really like how Haruki opens up this episode by talking about King Joe, Stories Kutchum. It's really funny. We learn a lot about Haruki in this episode. Like, his father passed away from a kaiju attack, with him trying to save people. That's probably why Haruki joined Storage and put his life at wits. Haruki defeats Red King, and he realized Red King was just trying to offend his aide, his family. And he realized he did the same thing with that kaiju did to him, to cut a father away from his family. I really like Haruki in this episode. He is just fantastic in this episode. Plus his actor with his acting is also very great. Now let's talk about Yoko! She pilots King Joe and fights Red King with Ultraman Z, eventually fighting her own Red King, and gets very confused when Ultraman Z blocks an attack from her. In this episode, she is pretty good. I really enjoyed her. Now let's talk about Judla. Judla is great in this episode. I really enjoyed how he interrupts Haruki and says, like, Yeah, we know, but King Joe, use your inside voice. That's just really funny. I enjoyed that scene quite a lot. And I really like the Judla the Ratchet, which that blocking an attack from King Joe to save Red King. I think that's very interesting. Now let's talk about Daddy Bako. Bako was pretty good in this episode. He don't really do too much though. He mostly just get King Joe ready. Still very awesome. Yuka, she also don't really do too much. She mostly just hangs around with Juddler. And she does give Yoko a smoothie drink. So, pretty cool. Ultraman Z. He gets kind of confused by Haruki's reactions to everything. But he does save Red King at the end. So, the Kettles in this episode. They all do the parts and they all are pretty good. But the real star of this episode is Haruki. He's fantastic in this episode. We learn so much about him. Like what happened to his father. I mean his mom. His mom and his relationship is very sweet. And I really liked it. Haruki is fantastic in this episode. Now let's talk about the dubbing. Sino Robinson as Haruki. This is episode where he has to shine as an actor and he does it so very well. He is killing it as Haruki in this episode. He captures Haruki's emotional scene so very well. His reaction would find out with Red King would just try and detect his aid and family. It's very very well done. Zeno Robson, you killed it as Haruki. Haruki's dad's voice actor is also doing a great job as well. Really enjoyed. The voice fits very well and I enjoyed that quite a bit. Let's see is in the reaction with Yon Haruki, it's very nice to see. Haruki's mom, dub actress, is doing a great job as well. She has pretty good chemistry with Zeno Robinson, Haruki, so that's great. The rest of the dub actors are all doing a great job with this episode as well. This dub is just really, really good. Now let's talk about the effects. Let's first talk about Red King. Now there's two Red Kings. Two didn't suits. First one, I believe, is the Ultraman Matt suit, and I love that design for Red King. I think this is the last time we see that suit. And the second Red King, I really like the suit. It's a nice recreation of the Showa suit, and I think that is very awesome. King Joe Storage Kutchum. It's an awesome robot design. I really, really love it. It's a nice updated King Joe design. Now, I do prefer the OG King Joe design, to be completely honest. This looked like a man-made King Joe, and I love that very much. And I love the big gun. It gives me some homage of King Joe Black, though it's a very cool King Joe. The Minjo sets are beautiful to look at. The fight scene is very good. So, the effects in this episode is very good. My... Criticisms. I have no criticisms for this episode. What do I like about this episode? I like how dark and emotional this episode is. This is a, just a really emotional episode for Haruki, and I really love that. Now, I really like how Red King is treated in this episode, because it's a nice homage to Ultraman Power. It's one thing I actually like about Ultraman Power, to be brutally honest. How they treat Red King in those episodes. Because, well, Red King has a mate, and it's just kind of interesting to see it be done again, but done a lot better now. And we have seen this before, but I really like the fact that they just show monsters are not just mindless beasts. They are animals that have feelings, families. Just very interesting to see. Another thing I love about this episode is Haruki and how he deals with grief. It's very realistic in my opinion. Because yes, you do heal from it, but it's still there. You still think about it. And it's a very nice way and very mature way how they dealt with grief. 
what is my final thoughts for episode 11 of Ultraman Z? I love this episode. This episode is so well made. I love how dark it is. It's just such a great Ultraman Z episode. It's just a great Ultraman episode overall. I think this has to be my favorite episode of Ultraman Z. Well, that is pretty much it for this review. Thank you so much for watching. Tell me down below what you think of the episode. And tell me down below what you think of King Joe Stories Kutchum. I love to hear your guys' thoughts. If you like this video, drop a like for this video. If you're new, subscribe. Xanafar is out.